Have you found it challenging to manifest friends as an adult or have you found yourself attracting friends who are perhaps not that good for you? Perhaps they're toxic or they hold you back. If so, you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how to manifest a tribe of friends who is going to help you excel and propel you forward. Now, one of the things that I've mentioned a few times on my channel is that when I first learned about the law of attraction, I started learning how to raise my vibration and I started learning how to change my thinking. And one thing that happened as a result of that was that I actually lost all the friends that I currently had at that time. And maybe you've seen this happen in your own life because it is actually fairly common that if you change your thinking and you change your point of attraction, a lot of times some people will fall out of your life. And so that was something that happened to me. I lost like all of my friends. We were not in resonance anymore. And it took me a while to figure out how to manifest a new tribe of friends. And so I went through this period of time where I felt kind of lonely, didn't have anyone around. And I had to work through this stuff and figure out, you know, what are the dynamics of manifesting friendships so that you're not attracting people who match you on a lower resonance, but that you can meet people who will resonate with you on a higher level where you want to be. And the things that I learned really, really worked because today I've got a really big network of friends. In fact, next week I'm actually going on vacation to the Dominican Republic with 12 of these friends. Okay. And so I've really figured this out. It's been fantastic for me to manifest people into my life who are good for my development and good for my growth, who can bond with me where I want to be bonded with and not on that more codependent toxic level that a lot of times we see inside of friendships. So if you want to manifest your tribe of friends, the first thing that you have to do, and this is so important, is that you have to identify what are your core values in a friendship? What are you looking for in a relationship with a friend? So right before I moved into this house, okay, I knew I was moving into a new neighborhood and I thought about, did I want to manifest friends or not? <laughs> because I'd been through a period of time where I hadn't had friends and I'm like, you know what? If I manifest friends in this neighborhood, I want them to be specific. I would like to manifest some friends who are into fitness. I would like to manifest some friends who have big goals for themselves, big dreams for themselves, and people who are generally pretty positive and upbeat and like to have fun. Those are the things that I thought about. I had a very specific vision because for me, I know that I like to have fun. I want to have big dreams. I want to have this idea that anything could happen. You know, I want to be kind of a go getter and I want to be around people who are like that because that's the resonance I want to be on. And notice that's fairly specific. Those are specific things that I want in friends. Now here's the mistake a lot of people make when it comes to manifesting friendships. They don't really think about what kind of friends they actually want. They just want friends, people that I can get along with or they have very low expectations of the kinds of friends that they're going to accept. So a lot of times you may see that people who want to make friends, they make friends by default. Maybe someone invited them to a party. Maybe they sit next to somebody at work and they don't really think about what do I actually want in a friend? They just take whatever's coming along. Now there's no problem with making friends with your office mate or the person that lives next to you or anything like that. That's perfectly fine. But if you're very vague about what you want in a friend, you're going to get a lot of vague friends coming to you that don't necessarily fit the parameters of what a core value would be inside of a friendship for you. And this is how a lot of people end up matching up with friends who just aren't that good of a match. They match up with them on a lower vibrational level. They match up with them, you know, in aspects of their personality that they're still working through, but they're not quite there yet. Now, a lot of people end up matching up with people on their shadow side. 
And that can happen when you're not really thinking about what does the light want, okay? <laughs> if you're not thinking about what the light side of you wants, very good likelihood that you're going to attract people that resonate with you more on your shadow side. So this is a very important first step, which is identify the core values that you want inside of a friendship. What do you want your friends to be? What kind of people do you want them to be? Maybe you don't care about big goals and being ambitious and go-getter. Maybe you want friends who like to relax and take it easy. Whatever it is, is fine. It matters most what is important to you and what you're going to be comfortable with within a friendship. Now, part of this is you want to ask the universe for what you want in a friend and you want to be specific. But what I would highly recommend is that you just ask one time and then let it go. Okay. You don't want to be asking, asking, asking a thousand times. The purpose of the asking really is for you just to put it out there so that when appropriate people show up, you're aware of them. So if you're ready, go ahead and drop it in the comments. What would you want to see in a friend that would resonate with you on your light side? That's going to take you forward. What kind of characteristics do you want to see in people that you attract? Go ahead and jot it down in the comments right now, put it out there and then just let it go. That's your first step. All right. Now the second step here to manifesting your tribe of friends is that you need to be receptive when they show up. So in other words, you just decided what characteristics you want to see in a friend. You put it out there and the universe is going to start bringing you people like that. Your job is when you see them, go up and talk to them, reach out to them some way. So like I said, when I moved into this home, I quickly put it out there, the kinds of people that I would like to meet if I was going to make friends. And I ended up learning very quickly within a few days that one of my neighbors who lives just two houses down is really into fitness and she's kind of got this high powered career and she's like this bubbly fun person. And these are the things I heard about her from other neighbors, but I didn't know her yet. But I, I was thinking, wow, that really seems to fit the description of what I was looking for in a friend. And so I saw her hanging out in her driveway one day. So I went over and just introduced myself and started talking to her. And today she's one of my very best friends. Okay. We've gone on multiple vacations together. We spent a lot of time together and she fit that description of what I was looking for perfectly. Now here's the mistake that people often make when it comes to making friends with this particular step. A lot of times people hold back and they wait for the other person to approach them. Now this is problematic because the law of attraction always mirrors you. Okay. So what you put out is what you get back. If you're always waiting for someone to come up to you, guess what kind of people are going to be in your reality? People who wait to reach out to you. And so holding back, not reaching out will attract to you other people that hold back from you and don't reach out to you. One of the things that you will notice is that the people that you end up meeting in your reality who are very, very popular, they all understand this. They're always reaching out. They're the first person to call. They're the first person to extend an invitation. They're the first one to throw a party at their home, but they're always reaching out, always reaching out, always reaching out. And therefore they attract lots of people who reach out to them in turn. Now, if you're introverted like me, <laughs> sometimes this can be challenging. So for some people, it's not particularly comfortable just to be chatting everybody up. And you don't necessarily have to do all of that. You don't need to be crazy about it, but reach out somehow, reach out with a smile, reach out with a hello, introduce yourself briefly. You don't have to have a whole big philosophical conversation and invite them to a gala in your backyard. You don't need to do all of that, but make it a habit that when people meeting your description show up, somehow you reach out to them. And you just keep doing that. Just keep reaching out, reaching out. It can be very small. It does not have to be big. Understand this. If you put it out into the universe that there's a specific kind of person that you want to be friends with, 
and then the universe delivers said person, if you don't walk up and talk to them or say hi or any of that, you're not going to create that friendship. The universe did its part. It gave you the person. Now you got to go be friendly. If you want to attract a friend, you got to be friendly. So that's super, super important. Again, when you see these people, a little light bulb should snap on. Oh my goodness. I just manifested a potential friend. Now I'm going to go ahead and reach out. Now, when it comes to manifesting your tribe of friends, the next thing is the thing that messes most people up when it comes to creating a cohesive unit of friends that you really bond with and that you stick with. Okay. This one's super important and a lot of people are messing this one up and I used to mess this one up all the time. So you're going to learn from my mistakes here. But first, if you enjoy law of attraction videos that teach you how to create the life of your dreams, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, go ahead and click the little notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release a new video. I put out content like this every single week and I know you're really going to like it. All right. But now for this next most critical thing, when it comes to really manifesting that tribe of friends and staying close and staying together and enjoying each other, this is so critical and so many people mess this up. So if you're messing it up, you're in good company. Okay. <laughs> a lot of people are messing this up. Um, and, and it's easy to mess up because of the law of attraction. And the thing is, is that when, as you start to bring people into your life, these people are showing up, you're reaching out They're They're showing up, you're reaching out. You're going to start to find that kind of a group starts to form. Okay. Maybe it's two, maybe it's three, maybe it's 12, maybe it's 15, but people start to coalesce together as you're kind of bringing them in with that reaching out process. Now, this is where it's so critical is that you have to have to <laughs> make sure as much as possible that you are focusing on the things that you like about these people rather than dislike. Again, what you put out is what you get back. And so it's very, very important that when you're spending time with your new friends, when you're talking to your new friends, that you're focusing laser focus on what you like about them. You know, I, I like how funny she is. I like how happy he seems. She laughs a lot. He does this. She does that. Look how great they are. She inspires me. He motivates me. You want to be thinking those things when you are around your new friends, because the law of attraction works on momentum. And the more you think about what you like about people, the more you're going to like those people and the more they're going to like you. So, so critical. So, so important. Here's the mistake that a lot of people make. And I used to make this one big time with my friends was looking for the faults in my friends or focusing on the faults in my friends. You know, why did she look at me like that? Why didn't he call? How come she said it that way? Why does she always do this? Why does he always do that? Okay. And focusing on those things, the negative things, the things that you don't want to see in your friends. Now, again, the law of attraction works on momentum. So the more we focus on things that we do not like in our friends, the more things that we will manifest in those people not to like, and the more those friends will not like us. And I know it can be challenging to always think positively about our friends. There are times truthfully where I find myself focusing on negative things. I do not like with my friends and like clockwork, all of a sudden that relationship will start to become more distant. It'll start to become more hostile. And because I understand the law of attraction, as soon as I start seeing that it's a reminder, oh yeah, you're focusing on things you don't like. Go back to focusing on things that you like about her or that you like about him. And so I can correct it now and get back on track. But a lot of people don't understand that. So they just start focusing on things that they don't like. And the person just gets worse and worse and worse. And the relationship gets more and more toxic or more and more distant. You know, it's a lot like when you watch reality television. You know, if you watch a show like the real housewives, 
And all these girls, all these women are getting together and complaining about each other. And the relationships are just so toxic. And a lot of them don't last. And women are getting tossed off the show. And then you never hear of them again. <laughs> That's what it's like when you're always looking for faults within your friendship. So you have to be vigilant with your friends and always focusing on the positive in them as much as you possibly can. And if you are new to my work here, I would love to invite you to take my five minute law of attraction test. If you would like to know for sure that you really are the creator of your reality and what you're thinking is what is brought into your world, I've designed a very simple, very quick five minute test where you can prove it to yourself. Put something out and watch it come back. And to take that test now, please go to manifestingtest.com. Again, that is manifestingtest.com. I'll also go ahead and put a link below in the description for you, but manifestingtest.com is the direct link. Thanks so much for watching today's video on how to manifest your tribe of friends. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. And of course, I look forward to bringing you another one soon. Bye-bye.